Hi Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from January 25th to the 31st, 2021. I hope that you're all doing well. So uh, first and foremost, I do have a message from my mom, Giovannina. She wants to tell everybody here, uh, thank you again for all the beautiful messages and that uh, she wants to also tell you that she will continue to pray for you three times a day here and on the collective. So uh, if you, there's any messages you want to relate to her, just leave them in the comments below. So there's a lot of new subscribers that are here on my channel. And I want to say welcome to my channel for the new subscribers. For those of you that have been with me for a while or for a long time, again, thank you for all the love and support. And of course, I have to thank my community as well, as they've been there for 26 years. So a big shout out to my community. And uh, so there is a few uh, messages that I want to relate to you. And then we'll get started with your reading. So Aquarius. And underneath the video, there's two links for crystals. For those of you that want crystals, uh, check out the two uh, places that I recommend. Uh, then plus you also get a percentage off with my name on it. And then after that, if, for those of you that want to follow me on TikTok, yes, I will be on TikTok to give free mini readings. So uh, yeah, the, the link on at TikTok is Patricia underscore 1111. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's also Patricia underscore 1111. On Facebook, it's Patricia Luna. And for those of you that want to join the group, okay, I do have a Facebook group that is uh, about all questions and answers, and um, it's very supportive and a growing group that's happening. For those of you that want to join, okay, there's a link underneath the video. Now, if you're looking for healers uh, and uh, card readers or channelers like I do, uh, there's Mark, my dear friend Mark, who is a healer, and also um, he, does uh, he does so many type of healings, but he's also a reader. And as there is also uh, my dear friend Corinne who does body talk. So those of you that want uh, don't know what body talk is, go on her website. There's going to be her link there. And she is also a reader herself. So uh, what else do I have to say? For those of you that want to write to me on pen pal, there is also my PO box number as well. So now let's get started with your reading. Uh, before I do that, I will, of course, invoke uh, Archangel uh, Metatron to come in with the light sun grid of uh, light, love, and protection with the Holy Spirit. I will invoke our uh, Mother Gaia to be here to sustain the healing and reading and also um, to keep us grounded. I will invoke Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and do the same thing for you. I will invoke Archangel Raphael with his em emerald green light uh, of um, for healings of for body, mind, and soul. Also, I will invoke Archangel Michael to, to do a breakthrough for your life and for the collective. And last but not least, I will invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective. But all you need to do, Aquarius, is just take a deep breath in. Don't do anything. Just take a deep breath in and exhale, and I will do the rest. So let's start. Archangel Uriel, to clear my energy and space and yours, take a deep breath in and exhale. Archangel Raphael, send healing energy of body, mind, and soul. Archangel Michael, for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, Archangel Gabriel, to free raise the frequency of the collective with love, light, peace, protection, harmony, abundance, good health, happiness, and so it is. All right, I'll put this beside Sandy. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's look at the affirmations. Hello Aquarius, I'm so happy that you're here. I'm happy to be doing your reading at this time. And let's look at your affirmation. What is your affirmation of the week? You have peace. I love this card for you, Aquarius. And your affirmation is, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. You say it three times if this is your affirmation. 
Now we're going to look into Gaia Oracle. Gaia Oracle will be a confirmation for some of you and for others of you. This will show me where you've been, where you're at, and what's coming towards you. Gaia says that she is loving you, supporting you, guiding, guiding you along the way with the angels, and that there's always hope at the end of any there's of any situation, and not to give up and keep the faith. Okay. So this is for Aquarius from January 25th to the 31st, 2021. Let's see. One, two. One more card. Three. Perfect. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So the you have the winter's end. This talks about regeneration, rebirth, okay, and a positive outcome. So at this time, a lot of you are, are purifying with water, maybe doing a lot of Epsom salt with the full moon, the new moon. Anything with water is where you're purifying through. And this is about emotional cleansing and regeneration that's taking place. So there is a death and rebirth. A lot of you at this time are not just experiencing for yourself, but you're experiencing for the collective as we were going through the ascension together. So you're feeling everybody's energy, especially for those of you that are impacts out there. You're feeling everybody's energy. Sometimes you're feeling sad. You don't know why you're sad, but you're feeling sad. That's because it's not your energy and it's for the collective. So there is a huge rebirth that's taking place here but there is a positive outcome in a situation so i'm very glad to see that and last but not le least a hidden gift so while you're going through all of this uh, death and rebirth where you're in the cocoon stage right now and before you're ending before you become a beautiful butterfly in the in the sadness in the hurt in the whatever that you're releasing okay anything that you're purging there's going to be a hidden gift within that. Okay, so there's going to be a gift that's going to be revealed to you. And uh, there's, there's an ending and a new beginning taking place. So there is positive news and a new beginning taking place for you. Now, uh, let's look. Oh, no, I already did this. What am I doing? Okay, um, let's look at your reading now. Okay, uh, what, uh, what else I'm being told is that for some of you, this might... Uh, so. Even though that Aquarius and uh, Jupiter and Saturn is in the sign of Aquarius, we're still a lot on the collective releasing karmic situations, people, behaviors, patterns, whatever the situation. And so now we're all going in together through this ascension. So there's still that last push or pull that we're going through. All right. So this reading is for Aquarius, Sun and anywhere that you have Aquarius. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it without a doubt. If it does not resonate, look at your rising, your moon, Venus, about love and finances, Mercury, and your North Node. For those of you that are releasing anything karmic, look at your North Node. And um, right now what I'm going to show you is where you're at, what is crossing you, what spirit wants you to focus on, your recent past, what's crowning you, your immediate future. What is hidden from you and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify in which uh, spirit wants me to clarify for you. At the end of that, I will give you two crystal cards. A, uh, I'll also give you a sacred geometry card, a star seed oracle card, and an archangel Michael card. And last but not least, I will give you a white light oracle card. With a, and I'm going to read you a small passage from that. And I do hope that you stay with me till the end. And if you do, I thank you in advance. So now let's get started with your reading. We cut the cards in three here and let's get started this is for aquarius from january 25th to the 31st 2021 what are the messages here for aquarius Okay, let me take my spray. I'll take some sage and rosemary and I'll put some on my sacred table, some for you and some for me. 
All righty. Overall energy is the Ten of Wands. Tired. Oh, you're so tired, Aquarius. And uh, it's, I think it's more on the collective as well. Okay, so there's a lot. Of, you've, there's been a lot of struggles and obstacles along the way in the long, maybe in the last 10 years for some of you 10 weeks or 10 months it doesn't have to be 10 but it's been a long time for you and there's a need to rest and a need to really take care of yourself here at this time the 10 becomes a one so that's a great thing so something will be lifted from you okay uh where you're at now is the nine of cups reversed okay is it the nine of cups let me check four five six seven eight, eight. uh so there's something that's coming to fruition for you meaning that there's something that is coming true in your life okay this is where it is at what's crossing you is the empress reversed okay at this time you're still going through the rebirth right the rebirth the winter's end there's a regeneration and rebirth and a positive outcome through the situation 100 percent. but you are going through a rebirth at this time and there's something that here you're you're going to come to fruition you're going to come to new opportunities that are taking place okay and you will not recognize who you are what spirit wants you to focus on is this three of swords energy you are releasing and purging a heartbreak here or something that took place where you know your heart chakra is broken here and there's healing that needs to be done in the recent past till now your guards were down in a situation okay so i feel that so for some of you your guards were down now you could have already have experienced this will be experiencing this it depends you know on the soul path what you're going through what is crowning you is the hangman reversed and this is a beautiful card and why is that because this is your spiritual awakening you're going to be reawakening this is about the shift the shift okay uh when the ascension takes place in your sign and uh of course it already took place in the, the 24th of december 2020 but anyways it was not in divine timing for everybody to come through together uh but i i do believe a lot of you understand what i'm trying to say here okay for those of you that do not understand well uh you know, there's uh, there was a shift that took place and uh, uh, everybody's coming in for the ascension at this time. So this talks about surrendering. OK, surrendering. This talks about something that was stagnant for such a long time will not be stagnant. This, the hangman reverse talks about a reawakening. So a lot of you are going to be reawakening and the collective will be reawakening with you. So that's beautiful. In the immediate future, you got a two of pentacles. A lot of you are trying to bring something into balance here in your life. And then a sense of ground, you need to ground yourself in a situation. Uh, and what's supporting you is, is the four of pentacles, okay? Which shows me that a lot of you are holding back. You're holding back who you are, your true power. You're just holding back. In what is hidden from you, you got the king of swords energy where the mind and the heart will be in one. And so this talks about that you, you being very clear, very focused, seeing the truth, seeing the clarity, okay, in a situation here and finding solutions. So things are going to come and finding the solutions will take place. In the hopes and fears, you've got the five of cups energy and just talks about that right now you're purging and you're releasing resentment, hurt, anger, all the emotions. And it's about seeing the silver lining in the situation. Whatever the situation, there's two cups that are upright here and you're not even focusing on that. You're only focusing on the bad. And so there is some type of changing your perspective and how you see things because there is a silver lining and something that you need to understand. That's what's taking place here. And uh, what I see is in the ending is the nine of pentacles, which shows me that you are working on yourself. You're very independent here. And this is a very beautiful card. Two nines on the ground, actually three nines, nine, nine, nine is here for you. And this talks about uh, completions that are taking place at this time. So now we're going to uh, take the cards to clarify here. We're going to clarify. I'm just going to shuffle them th three times and all. Because I really shuffled them before. And one more time. Alrighty. And see what, what's going on here for you. Cut them in three. Okay. Let's look at the Nine of Cups reversed. You've got the Five of Wands. The Three of Cups. Six of Wands and the Emperor. Okay. So what I'm seeing here that there's been a, there's a situation here at hand that there's a lot of 
push and pull within you a lot of fighting within yourself first you know a resistance here or it's also what's happening on the collective at collective at this time maybe there's a lot of rage around you a lot of drama a lot of fighting and spirit saying is that you need to rise yourself rise from this situation whatever that the situation is is that you need to rise raise your vibration and not to stay in this type of energy here this is about uh, maybe people from the past okay or someone from the past was some type of interference or something that took place and there has been a lot of fighting but what they're showing me here is that the there is success that's going to be taking place with the six of wands energy. So there is some type of success true because the nine of cups is reversed here and shows me about a dream coming true. So there is recognition, success, victory taking place, maybe in a business. Uh, but you have to let go of, uh, of the control of it, meaning you need to surrender. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, it could be if it's for business, it's a good thing. I'm not going to say uh, no. If it's for business that you're going to be recognized and there's victory here, it's about setting up new rules, new boundaries, right? And uh, really, this is about commitment and stability. But if it has to do with something that you want, something something that is coming towards you, you want to have control of the outcome, there's a sense that you need to surrender. This is what they're telling me, okay? Now, let's look at the Empress reversed here in the what is crossing you. Why is the Empress reversed? You've got the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands reversed, which is a good card because it's reversed. And you've got the Judgment. So there's some type of judgment that's taking place here, okay, in your life. Um, with the Ten of, of Wands reversed, I feel that something will be removed from you completely where you're not going to feel that you're carrying the world on your shoulders, okay? Okay. Uh, there is something coming in here with the page of pentacles some type of uh could be an apology for some of you if not this is something to start you off it's like a, a, new, a beginning a new beginning taking place in something that's solid okay it could be a job an offering but there's something here that's solid here for you and with a judgment you're gonna have to make a judgment call on this all right now let's look at the three of swords and what spirit wants you to focus focus on why is the three of swords here You got the three of wands reversed, the six of swords reversed, the star card reversed. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. So uh, what I see here is that whatever the situation is, a lot of you are not looking into the future or you're lost hope in a situation or something or someone you were waiting for. Whatever it is, you're not in that, you're not looking into the future. You're in the now moment. And this is good. This is why you have to address your heart chakra. There's healing that needs to be done here. Um, I see here that with the page of cups reversed, this could be your inner child energy that you need to heal, or this could be a child around you. There's something or you, this could also be you uh, not uh, emotionally available at this time, very emotional and not, um, yeah, you're, a lot of you are in your mind or in your head stuck in a situation, in a difficult situation where you're having a hard time doing the transition. Okay. Um, what I'm being shown here is that uh, with the moon card, what this is, is, is that there's only two things, love or fear. Love versus fear. What do you choose? If you choose to stay in the fear, this is what's taking place here. Okay, the fear, yes, because this is the moon in Pisces energy. This talks about fears. It talks about difficult moments. It talks about you're in a dark passage now that you need to surrender to, to the universe. Okay, to whoever who you believe in, okay, knowing that they have your back, all right? And it's uh, also about uh, not seeing something that's right in front of you. There's a lot of deception, illusion here. And that's why there's a delay taking place. There's a delay with the star card reversed, okay? Or maybe you're not feeling, uh, it, right now, you're not feeling very stable in a situation. You lost faith in the situation. But with the nine of pentacles here, it shows me that you are working on yourself. So continue working on yourself. Continue healing yourself because this is a, I, I do believe that you are going to get to greatness. All right. And look, uh, what came out the last card was that the divine is going to come in to give you clarity. Okay. Give you clarity, staying focused in the situations about removing the fog, removing everything, people, situations. It's about seeing the clarity in everything that you needed to see. 
a lot of great communication and creative ideas. So that's very good to see that, okay? Now, let's look at the Nine of Wands in the recent past till now. You got the Knight of Wands reversed, the Knight of Swords reversed, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, I do feel here that um, I do believe someone has to put their boundaries up, okay, uh, on the situation, like really setting high high boundaries for someone not to come in to take your energy. Whatever it is, if it's you or them with the Knight of Wands reversed, the Knight of Swords reversed, nobody's coming in here. Okay, someone feels defeated. No one's going to give a message or that you're not giving a message to someone here. And you're very discerned at this time, very discerned with the Queen of Swords energy. So uh, you will not uh, play with people, play with play games anymore with people or... Uh, you're going to cut people out if you have to. If you hear something that you don't like, you're going to cut them out. Uh, you're also going to stand up for yourself too at this time. So what I feel from here, this situation is by putting up your boundaries, which I, I know you will, with the Queen of Swords energy. But you're in your mind about a situation, okay? You're in your mind. You're using your, your logic at, the, at this time. Now let's look at the Hangman reversed here in the crowning. You've got the Five of Swords reversed. You've got the Sun reversed. The Nine of Wands reversed. The Fool reversed. <laughs> okay. You're going through a lot at this time, Aquarius. I could tell that you will, and this is where you're coming to. Okay, you will surrender. You will do your ascension. Okay, uh, you're going to be reawakening. There's a reawakening happening here for you or the situation or the collective, whatever it is. And uh, it's uh, the Five of Swords reversed. It's about you standing up for yourself. No more backstabbing, no more lies, no more backstabbing or lies. Uh, you're really standing up for yourself and there's the, it's being eluded from you. With the Two of Wands, you're making peace with your past. There's a past that like you're really cutting your past out for, here in the situation um, because there's a delay. Okay, because you're still going through the process and with the emotions, right? It takes time. With the sun card, there's a miss, there's a delay that's taking place here. Um, it's about nine of wands again, reverse. I believe that you should be for a lot of you, you should be putting your boundaries higher in a situation. And with the full reverse, that there's no you're not there's not you're not jumping into something, you're really taking your time. And what's coming towards you is the Ten of Pentacles. So from the nine, you go to the ten. There's unexpected money here. It doesn't have to be, but there's something that you're going to be very stable in, in this situation with the Ten of Pentacles. And it's really nice to see that. Now let's look at the Two of Pentacles in the immediate future. What is the Two of Pentacles about here? The Devil card. Mm-hmm. Included with the Empress and the World Reverse. There's something on. Okay, so there's some type of unfinished business for you. Okay, uh, something is not coming full circle at this moment. There's unfinished business in a situation here. Uh, you're trying to bring something to, into balance, and you need to ground yourself. Maybe you're being pulled into different directions, Aquarius. Love versus fear. Whatever the situation here, this is the Capricorn energy and Saturn energy here. This is about a breakthrough. This is about releasing people, situations that are toxic, uh, breakthroughs on your own patterns, people, unhealthy fears, whatever it is, there is a breakthrough that's going to take place here for you, okay? There's a breakthrough. You're trying to bring something into balance in your life. You're trying to bring something into balance here. And with the Empress energy, this talks about death and rebirth and regeneration. This is about a new beginning taking place, new opportunities that are taking place for you. As the Empress, the Empress lets everything come towards her. That's the energy. Not like the Emperor that tries to be restrictive and controlling in the energy. I'm not talking about like if they're Aries, okay? I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the energy. And then the Empress energy manifest lets everything come towards her okay and uh, this is what it is it's a lot of attraction that's taking place here and there's a breakthrough in this situation now let's look at the four of pentacles and what's supporting you someone's holding back here yep someone's holding back their emotions okay they don't have yeah you see uh someone's holding back their emotions with this five of cups energy uh, they're not seeing themselves or their worth in who they are, okay? 
uh, they, it, it feels like they lost passion inside of themselves in the situation with the five of cups here. I don't know who this is, if this is what you're feeling. Okay. But this is about releasing. You're at the ending of releasing, purging, resentment, hurt. Okay. And, um, what I see here is that there's going to be a silver lining and there's going to be messages coming in at this time. A lot of messages coming in fast paced messages. Now let's look at the king of swords in what is hidden from you heart the mind in one so i do have the king and queen of swords and i go i have the emperor and the empress energy with the ten of pentacles okay got the queen of pentacles okay that's beautiful all right hold on and i have the magician so you are going to be manifesting it shows me here or this is a you're manifesting through the universe uh, with all your this you you have all the elements here to bring your desires to completion. This could be with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. This is about you being stable, being in reliable, insecurity and justice. Something is coming towards you that's going to bring you balance here. This is about the truth and integrity. Rulings would be made in your favor, and everybody that's involved in the situation will be treated fairly by the universe. All right. So maybe you're dealing with a Libra here. And now let's look at the Five of Cups in the Hopes and Fears. And let's look at this together. You got the Ten of Cups reversed. This has to do with a relationship or something that did not start out well. Maybe there was a lot of options. There was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of hurt here in a relationship with the Ten of Swords. Yes, it was an ending of something very karmic for you. It's been, it was very, very difficult, okay? There was a lot of obstacles here, okay? I do see that. Let's see what else here. just want to see what they're telling me. I got more cards. Yeah, it's about making peace of your past here with a, a person here. Uh, like I see the Ten of Cups energy reversed with the Seven of Cups energy upright. With the five of cups okay you're releasing something or a soulmate or some type of energy or of someone uh maybe there was a type of relationship in your life it doesn't have to be just a love relationship where there was a lot of confusion too many options in a situation here okay and you're still releasing and purging uh making peace with the past uh with the king of wands reversed there uh, still no action in not taking action in a situation and there's a something that like some type of mishap that took place with the wheel of fortune reversed here and um, with the Ten of Swords energy, there's an ending of something karmic that's taking place. The Ten becomes a One, right? So now let's look at the Nine of Pentacles in the outcome. You got the King of Pentacles. So you got the King and Queen of Pentacles here. The Tower reversed, followed by the Nine of Cups energy. Followed by the Death reversed. Okay, there's some type of resistance here. People need to go with the flow and understand that the universe has your back here and with the ace of pentacles okay so uh again the nine of pentacles you have the ten of pentacles working on yourself very independent here uh i see the king of pentacles you know reliable security success also something took place an unexpected change that took place in the recent past year that took place and it's about dreams coming true Something about dreams coming true with the Nine of Cups, wish for film. But with the Scorpio energy death, there's a death and rebirth taking place. And there is a resistance because uh, scared of change, fear, uh, you know, having fear. But whatever the case is, uh, there is something that's coming in for you. Some type of money or some type of, uh, if it's not money, it's a gift. Okay. And that's going to bring you some type of balance here. So now let's look at the Ten of Wands in the overall energy. Look at the Ten of Wands here. We've got the King of Cups energy. The Seven of Swords. The King of Swords reversed. The Hangman. Four Swords. And the Ace of Cups. It's about returning to unconditional love. There is true love here. There's something that's hidden from you, okay? Uh, 
So you got the King of Cups, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Someone that is emotionally available here. This could be you or the person you're dealing with. I also feel Earth energy with this individual. A lot of wisdom. Okay. Um, what I feel here is that uh, there was some type of break. Okay. Break up or healing that took place in a situation where there was time off. This is about really healing thyself. And I feel that that's what's taking place. Uh, with the Hangman Reverse, again, it's showing me that there's a reawakening here. This is the collective is going through a reawakening, but so are you, okay? And you're going to see all your, like, it's like a lot of abundance coming in, but all the, the signs, everything, you're going to understand everything here. And uh, with the King of Swords reversed at this time is that even though that, uh, you know, this is taking place with the King of Swords energy, they're not ready to see a situation yet. They're not ready to communicate, maybe. It could be for some of you. Um, still not being 100% clear because it's, it's like they're still going through it, right? It's like they're going to get that reawakening, but they're still going to take time out. They're still working on them, themselves or thyselves. And so the, the communication is not there. And they're trying to keep this under wraps, okay? They're trying to withhold information about this. But what's happening here or the withholding information that maybe um, that's going to take place is that it's about the person or you or anybody here. Uh, on the collective, returning to unconditional heart, uh, unconditional love. Unconditional love is taking place here. This is about, over, you're going to be feeling very overwhelmed at this time, but I'm very at peace. And it's about new love that's here. There's new love and this is unconditional love. And underneath the deck, I have divine timing. As the page of wands, energy is my divine timing card. You're seeing everything coming in. It's going to be very passionate, a very passionate energy. And so there's a huge healing taking place for some of you that walked away with some from someone. If you walked away from someone or something from the past or they walked away from you. I also have Leo around this full moon. Uh, I think it's, it's January 28th. There's the full moon in Leo. There's a huge healing taking place here on the collective. It's going to be very beautiful, very beautiful energy. All right. Now, so let's look into your crystals. What are the crystals for Aquarius at this time? I'm going to take out another one, another card, one more card. Okay, hold on. Here we go. So the two crystals you got is Rhodochrosite, remember your worth, and Amethyst, trust your intuition. So Amethyst, trust your intuition, and Rhodochrosite, remember your worth. You can use these crystals for as long as you need them. Now we're going to look into the sacred geometry, what they want to tell Aquarius at this time. All right. You got number five, pineal activation. Pineal activation taking place. Take a picture of this. Take a screenshot if you like and meditate with this card and see what spirit wants to tell you here. And this talks about awakening the pineal gland. So some of you are going to, you are going through this reawakening process of that. Now let's look at the star or star seed oracle for you. What is the message for Aquarius? Alrighty, you got two cards. First one is water your garden, water your garden. And this talks about nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest at this time. And you're not for everyone, Aquarius. You're not for everyone. And this card it means embrace your weirdness and face your true north. So embrace your weirdness and face your true north. You're not for everyone and water your own garden at this time. Beautiful. Now we're going to look, take a card from Archangel Michael for Aquarius. You got a favorable outcome. And it says here, thank you for a beautiful outcome to the situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. Again, a favorable outcome. And last but not least, I will take a card from the White Light Oracle. And this is for Aquarius energy from January 25th to the 31st, 2021. What? Is it written here? All right. Oh, we're going 
at that. You got the same card as, I think, I don't know if it's Gemini or Libra. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. Number 23, which is a five. It's Beta of Spirit Wolf. So I guess the message is the same for you. There you go. Huh? Give me a second, please. There we go. I will read you the passage as you look into the card. All right. So your message is give yourself enough rest. Only then will you be able to ground yourself enough to cultivate focus and motivation to fulfill your path. You will find a way through any tricky situation as you tune into your instincts and trust your own timing. From times of change and uncertainty comes confidence, love, and resilience. Embrace transition. Commit to your tasks and stay focused, but be flexible in your approach. You have the skill to intuitively handle any situation. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Aquarians. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. All this shall pass. We're all in this together, helping each other out, supporting each other. And take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye.